Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the top online retailers to understand how they're optimizing their product category or product collection pages for SEO. So we're going to look at everyone, starting from Ikea to Target to Walmart to Adidas, everyone online, how these SEO teams are optimizing their collection pages for more revenue, more traffic. And so why not, you know, just look at what these big guys are doing and unravel their SEO strategy instead of spending all the R&D work to figure it out on our own with testing. Not only am I going to be walking you through how they're doing their SEO, I'm also going to share this small template here on how we actually organize this work in my agency so you can really get an idea of the next steps and how this actually works if you are optimizing an e-commerce store. So let's start off by looking at a keyword win mattress. So starting with this key keyword, we can see two of our old friends, Ikea and Mattress Firm. I had a video a while back looking at Ikea and their SEO strategy. And if you remember that, that's the call out. First, we're going to look at uh, Ikea and then Mattress Firm, uh, two websites ranking number one for twin mattress, which gets 246,000 searches every month. So very competitive. With these websites, we can really see the foundation of a collection pages from both a technical standpoint, as well as a customer or user standpoint. So looking at Ikea, I love to look at them because they're very well done in terms of their technical SEO. And so right off the bat, we know what page we're targeting and what key we're targeting. And so in the SEO title tag, we have twin size mattress. The SEO title tag, and sorry if this is redundant if you're an SEO pro, is what actually shows up in the blue text link that we were just seeing on Twin Mattress that says twin size mattresses, affordable and comfortable. After that, we have the meta description, which is the little description under that tag that says Twin Mattress. Now, I may be sounding a little bit simple, but this is the thing with e-commerce SEO in all SEO, that you want your title tag to very clearly target the keyword. You don't want it to be too, you know, all over the places. I would even probably prefer this text to be twin mattress, which is very simple. But clearly their target keyword is twin size mattress, which I'm not gonna argue with the guys at IKEA. It actually may be the better keyword. I haven't done as much research as that. But in my opinion, I'd probably try for the twin mattress since they are position two right now. And maybe that's the reason, although mattress firm also has a similar story. After that, we have the H1. This H1 tag is critical and needs to include the keyword too. These two places are the most important factors for the initial optimization. You're telling Google this page is about twin size mattresses or twin mattresses. Don't get confused. As much as we like to think Google is a genius machine with all this knowledge, actually messes up quite often. And we want it to be very clear that the keyword is what is in the title tag in the H1. So just by setting these up, you are setting yourself up for success. After that, we have a paragraph just describing the products. Again, feeding Google that information. Hey, this is twin size mattresses and all of that. And as you can see, it's in the description too. Then we have the products. I don't care too much about those for now. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have some content just for Google that includes H2 tags. And so Google uses these subheadings, the H1 to H6, to understand the structure of a web page or a website like this twin size mattress page. And it uses those to understand the structure and the keywords that are there. We can use SEO meta in one click to actually unravel exactly how these heading tags are set up without going into code and getting too complicated. As we can see, the H1 tag is twin size mattresses. That was our first step, making sure that the H1 and the title tag are properly targeted towards the keyword we want to rank. After that, if we scroll down, we can see that these other keywords, such as twin mattresses make the perfect upgrade for kids, all of those are H2 tags. We then want to make sure that our target keyword, as well as secondary keywords, are in these H2s. So we can see twin mattresses is in, is in their H2, so they are aware of that keyword. Twin size mattresses, are in their H2. And then uh, twin size mattress, which is actually a little bit different. It's removing that ES. So as weird as it is, Google does treat plural and non-plural as different keywords. 
They then added in the relevant internal links, such as to full-size mattress, uh, bunk beds, even toys and stuffed animals. So they're just linking up different relevant pages. So same like twin size bed frames. So that's the basics of optimizing a collection page or SEO is that we want our product collection or product category page to have the target keyword in the SEO title tag. We want it in the SEO H1 tag as well as in the H2 tags. And if we want, we can even add them into H3 tags. This is just the content on both the above the product content as well as below the products. So above the fold and below the fold content for SEO. This is the basics of just adding content to a collection page, making sure it has keywords. Now, I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into the technical SEO on this website, just so you can understand it. Above the H1 tag, we have the product breadcrumbs. This connects the website all together, showing the mattresses, that twin size mattresses are a part of mattresses. And then above that, we have the subcategories. So we have mattresses, we have different uh, subcategories of mattresses, such as mattress protectors and crib mattresses. We want everything to be linked up. Below that, we have the products. These are currently uh, set as H2 tags or H3 tags actually on this website. These can sometimes be H2 tags, H3 tags, as well as just normal text. So no H tags. Um, either way can work kind of depends on the results. We have a show more that loads in more products and creates pagination. We then have some recommended products where we internally link down to all kinds of products. And then we have more subcategories like mattress toppers, mattress protectors, so on. Then we have the SEO content and then we have more internal links. So all the different types of mattresses we want to internal link here. So as you can see, there's a lot going on on this one simple page, including a lot of content as well as technical changes that were made so that the website is very easily crawlable by Googlebot and that we can get those number one, or in this case, number two rankings for Twin Mattress. If we look at Mattress Firm, we see a fairly similar story. You have the twin size mattresses in their H1. In their titles tag, we have twin size mattresses all the way to the left. We have twin mattresses in their description. We can see that this is set as an H1 tag, although they have multiple H1 tags, which isn't ideal, but they can kind of get away with it being mattress firm. Now, I want to show you something. If we scroll down here, we can see something. This text is quite a bit smaller than what we saw on Ikea. Now, you could just say, okay, mattress firm isn't doing SEO as well, but that's actually not exactly true. The content is just placed in a different area. And so this gives you an insight into the different options you have with SEO. So when we look at these product tabs or these product cards, as they're called, we can see a little bit of content within this section. So we can see firm comfort, best for back and stomach sleepers, temperature, pain here. And it's essentially telling each of the twin mattresses what they're good for. You know, are they best for all sleep positions? What are they really good for? says it's available for pickup, Midtown, I'm in Atlanta, so it's showing that. This is all content, right? So all of this is content that Googlebot can crawl and check out. And so that adds more word count to their page on each of the product cards. And you can see this on other websites too. You can see people doing even pop-ups on the product cards where they're getting in that content and some of those keywords. And then they do have a much smaller description and they have the load more. And not to mention, they also have the breadcrumbs above the H1. So a little bit less optimized, but we haven't looked at their backlink profile and we, they have more content within the product parts. So this is how to optimize a product collection for SEO. We can briefly look at Wayfair and see the same thing. H1 tag targeting their keyword, breadcrumb above that, title tag including the keyword. And if we scroll down, we see SEO content with some internal links, as well as internal links for exploring more products. Same with Adidas, we have some top level content. We have the products. And if we go down here, we have some SEO content, as well as internal links to other relevant pages all over the place. Walmart, um, I'm trying to remember if they actually did it. Let's see. Yep. So if we go down here, we have a show more button and then SEO content. And then of course, air mattresses in the H1 tag, title tag, and so on. You want to make it very obvious to Google what keyword you're targeting. 
So if we were actually to do this, and I could go through more examples and so on, but I think you get the idea. You know, here we have a lot of different components and, and all kinds of fun stuff. We have a different little area for the content, but it's a typically the same story, one content on your collection pages. To do this, we use this template where we say the page title, which is typically just gonna be keyword and then your brand, so your website. We're gonna keep the URL as slash keyword. We're gonna do keyword research so we know the keyword as well as secondary keywords that we want to for SEO. Um, we sometimes add a word count if we want, but you're generally safe to go with like 600 words of content. Um, and then we suggest the subheaders for that content that we've been looking at underneath here. This is create the perfect outdoor dining space. Outdoor dining space is probably one of their secondary keywords. Outdoor dining sets is also likely one of their secondary keywords. So we're adding in the secondary keywords into those H2 tags. Now, I hope that's not too complicated. It goes a little bit into keyword research, which let me know if you have any questions on that or just reach out to us and I am really available all next week if you're watching this at this time and we can chat about how to optimize your website for SEO, both collection pages as well as product pages. We can explore my whole process for collection expansion and product page optimization. If you're open to that, click below, check out the description and you can find me at Poundly or my website or anywhere else. So thank you. Please drop a like if you got any new knowledge from this and uh, let me know if I should continue on this sort of looking at the top e-commerce retailers and how they're doing SEO. So thank you so much. Talk soon.